Well, hello and good morning, fellow YouTubers. I don't know if you guys have seen this in the news, but uh, the governor of Florida decided to uh, take some matters into his own hands and do what is not necessarily the popular thing to do, it seems, among governors across the country. But I felt this was imperative to bring to you guys. It's awesome news uh, to let you know what's going on there. Um, I want to know uh, what your guys' thoughts are. So if you can, leave a like. Uh, drop a comment below and let me know what you think about this. But before we uh, go any further, I'm going to get down to the brass tacks of this all and run this clip for you guys. Check out what he has to say. In the country, And there's a number of things that we'll be doing. Uh, you know, we are going to impose criminal penalties for violent or disorderly assemblies, uh, and that'll be a third degree felony. Uh, we will also uh, require uh, a felony if you uh, incapacitate any of the roadways. We see people take over interstates. Uh, that is absolutely hazardous. It's not fair to motorists who may get caught up in that. Um, and so that will be unacceptable. Uh, also, we have a prohibition on destroying or toppling any type of public property, including monuments. Uh, that's not the way uh, to go about it. And we will hold you accountable. Also have a prohibition on harassing innocent people in public accommodations. You see these videos of these innocent people eating dinner and you have these crazed lunatics just screaming at them and intimidating them um, on, on a public accommodation, you're not going to do that here in the state of Florida. And we're also going to use RICO liability to anyone who organizes or funds a violent or disorderly assembly. And if you look at some of the people who've been involved in this violence, these are people that will come from all across the world, all across the country. If there's any type of issue, they all of a sudden show up in all these places. Uh, we're going to figure out who's organizing and who's funding that and hold them accountable. So face value, seems like the governor is taking a step forward to make a proactive approach at stopping the violence that is happening in a lot of major cities and hometowns uh, to prevent or deter various groups, I'll just say that, uh, from continuing the things that they're doing. So it's pretty interesting stuff. Um, seems like they're kind of putting a foot down uh, to make sure that this doesn't continue in Florida. So all in all, I mean, you know, with the public's interest in mind, that seems like a great thing, right? What do you guys think? Is this going to cause any harm? Let's see what else he has to say. Have is clear and predictable penalties. I look at what goes on in Portland and they'll have people, they'll arrest them. These are all scraggly looking, you know, Antifa types. They get their mugshot taken and then they get released. And it's like a carousel, on and on it goes. Uh, that's not gonna happen here in Florida. If you are involved in a violent or disorderly assembly, assembly and you harm somebody, if you throw a brick and hit a police officer, you're going to jail. And there's gonna be a mandatory minimum jail sentence of at least six months. For anyone who strikes a police officer, either uh, with with uh, any a weapon or a projectile, and we're also not going to simply let people back out onto the street. So, if you are in custody for one of these offenses relating to a violent or disorderly assembly, uh, you're not getting bail before your first appearance, and then there's a rebuttable presumption Captain against radio. bail after that. So. It seems like what he's doing is not only protecting the public, but stopping the violence against police in Florida. I mean, I'm all for it, right? I'm all for public safety, uh, standing up and providing consequences for the actions of some of the people that protest and riot. Um, protesting is one thing. Sorry, let me let me clarify. Protesting is a whole nother thing. We have the right to do that. Uh, but rioting and looting... It's getting out of hand. And uh, for some of you that know how it's been in, say, Seattle or Portland, some of that has gone to an extent that the only way to really stop it is to provide consequences that are extreme enough to where people won't want to uh, continue in that type of behavior. So I wonder what else he's going to do during a violent or disorderly assembly uh, that will be an enhanced penalty uh, as well as assault or battery of a law enforcement officer during one of these violent or disorderly assemblies and if you are from another state and you come to participate in one of these violent or disorderly assemblies uh, you're going to have extra penalties imposed okay, so well. along with uh, anybody that's from florida who engages in this behavior that becomes disruptive and harmful to the public whether it's threatening or rioting or looting 
or any harm in any manner, it seems that even if you travel from out of state, they will seek to provide those similar consequences to others as well. So this deters outsiders from coming in and deciding to engage in that behavior too. Seems fair. And we are not going to permit localities to defund the police. If you defund the police, then the state is going to defund any grant or aids coming to you. And that applies to any municipality uh, or local government throughout the state of Florida. We also understand that victims uh, need to be compensated. And so if you have a situation where a local government is grossly negligent, where they abdicate their responsibility to protect people and property, like we saw in some of these cities throughout the United States, uh, we will waive sovereign immunity and let you get compensated by suing those local governments. You also will not be eligible for state benefits or employment if you get convicted of participating in a violent or disorderly assembly. And we believe that that's something that makes sense from a taxpayer perspective. Wow, so just wow. So we're going to stop right there. The rest of it's uh, legal jargon and stuff that doesn't really stand out as pertinent news. Uh, however, uh, you know, the main thing behind this is, is uh, it seems that what he's trying to do is take control back of his state and make sure that people are aware that if you participate in anything that becomes destructive, he's no longer going to allow that to be the norm. I, I get where he's coming from. I do. Um, I wonder if more governors will pick up on this and cause that to be the, the barrier that kind of stops people from determining if they're going to participate in some of these violent uh, violent riots and, and looting, or if it's going to cause people to not really care and do it anyway. Um, I'm, I'm kind of concerned about what the repercussions may be of people feeling more controlled, especially if they already have the thought process that they're going to go out and loot or riot and destroy property and threaten people. Um, whether it's with physical harm or just verbally threatening, threatening people, uh, especially cops. I really want to know what you guys think about this. So if you can, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Should this be done in your state as well? And if it is, let me know as well where you live, uh, what's happening there. If not, if you don't think that it should be, then it, please explain why. Let's have a civil conversation here. I want to get you guys' input. I thought I'd be... Uh, I thought it'd be a pretty good idea to bring you guys this news and see kind of what uh, what your thoughts are on this. If, if you ask me, um, I think there's parts of this that are really good, right? It, it gives you a good deterrent, stops a lot of the crime from happening, at least with the understanding that they might not have any consequences. Uh, I think that's the main goal here is just to let people know that they're not going to stand for it anymore. But like I said, there's various ways this could go. Um, hopefully it's for the better. Uh, we'll see what happens. You guys leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching i5 Tactical. I love you and I'll see you next time.